Hi, welcome back to my channel, Earth Song. My name is Kelly, and we're going to talk ascension, raising your vibration, coming to understand and be the knowing that you already have within you. I want to start with an interesting quote. Learning is finding out what you already know. Doing is demonstrating that you know it. And teaching is reminding others to remember that they already know, but they forgot. That's what I'm here for. Now I want to talk a little bit about losing and winning and being competitive. Uh, losing's okay. And this, I think this is a lesson that a lot of people really don't have a grasp on anymore. But it's okay to lose um, for this reason. Losing is a tool for you to learn. Without losing, without failing at something, you don't learn how to become better. You don't grow. Okay, so um, losing is a very necessary and beneficial tool to your soul. You need to lose once in a while. It's okay to lose. And we need to understand that and we need to teach that to our children. It's okay to lose. It's okay to fail. Provided that you still have that competitive nature and that will to do it again and try and try until you become better. Similar to what I tell my children with their video games. You know, there's levels in the video game. Well, there's levels in life, right? So we can kind of look at our matrix that we're trapped in as those levels of a video game. You start at the first level. You try to navigate through it. Some of us get lucky and get all the way through it on the first try. But the majority of us fail. We lose all of our little lives or get knocked back to the beginning or, you know, however you want to say it. And we have to do that level all over again until we achieve getting through the entire thing, getting past all of the obstacles without failing, without dying, right, in the game. So I try to tell my kids, it's okay to lose. It's okay to fail. Because you're going to try again because you really want to get to that next level that you know is a more fun level to play or a better level to be on or however you want to view it. And so, you know, we want to strive to get to that next level. So that's where competitiveness comes in and where it's a good thing to be competitive because there's a lot of negativity around that as well. Uh, that we shouldn't compete and that everybody should get a ribbon whether they win or lose and all this um, stuff that's being taught to children now. And I think, it, and it, even a lot of adults sort of have that mentality about themselves or the children that surround them. And I want you to understand, really understand that you need to be competitive and that you need to fail sometimes. It's okay to fail. You shouldn't get a ribbon for it because that won't give you the competitive willpower, the drive that you need to be better and to achieve more and to grow. And so just like we allow children to play video games or to compete in a contest or um, sports or whatever it is, we, it, we want them to feel pride. We want them to feel respect their, for their self and honor and appreciation for their hard work. Because, you know, when you work hard to become better, to grow, then at the finish line, when you finally win or achieve that level or achieve that, whatever that goal was, it's so much more rewarding. And you know that. I mean, we all know that deep inside. Again, it goes back to the beginning of this message where I'm reminding you of things you already know. 
common sense things that have just gotten really blurred in our society. And I want us to really uh, kind of like rewind in order to deprogram from the tainted effects of society. We need to get back to natural law and common sense and the higher good of all people, um, all beings. We need to remember who we are and what we are exactly. And we have forgotten that. I mean, we have just really pushed that aside and totally lost touch with what reality really is. I mean, it's our, it's our nature, it's our purpose to lose or to fail and then to compete and strive to be better and have a goal and be proud of our accomplishments. And all of these things are taught to us in such a negative aspect in society these days. And they're not negative at all. They're very necessary and important tools for us to have and to live by. Um, and also with anger, um, I want to bring this up to you real quick because a lot of times the most basic reaction, action and reaction that we do with another person is that knee jerk uh, defensive reaction. It's a very low level vibration and we all need to like rise above that and you know that brings me to how all of these old folklore sayings really have uh, rooted meaning to them, you know, like be careful what you wish for and all of that. But um, we need to uh, not have that knee jerk reaction and uh, realize that when we want to be uh, angry at someone and blame them for something that that's actually something in us that we're not liking how we're feeling about it. And so we just react to not liking how we feel internally. But really what we need to be doing is looking within and asking ourselves, okay, is my reaction emotionally because there's something in me that I know could use improvement and that I need to strive to grow and change about me? Or uh, is there something that this person is doing that is directly affecting my soul, my heart, my joy, my higher purpose? Um, and if that's the case, then we need to be making the proper choices and taking the proper measures to eliminate um, that choice from being included in our six degrees. Uh, if there's someone that is a repeat offender at uh, triggering your emotions in a negative way, in a low level way, you know, with the knee jerk reactions and the um, hurt and the pain and the sadness that comes with poor treatment. We need to seriously reevaluate, you know, how this makes us feel internally and then choose self love and choose improvement in our own life to remove that from our six degrees. If they can't choose to be uh, kind and receptive and understanding or patient or you know whatever it is that you're needing from them if they can't make that choice for you then you should own your own power know your own worth and make that choice for them and take that choice away from them completely um, without hate without anger but from a place of love self-love 
and also a level of understanding that they aren't vibrating high enough to make the choices that you need that would uh, vibe with you, you know, that would mesh with you and resonate properly with you. So um, it all comes from a place of uh, self-love and also uh, compassion for everyone else and understanding that, you know, back to the video game stuff, maybe they're still on level two, but you're on level five in the game and you can't look down at them poorly because they're still on level two and haven't learned yet or um, gave up on trying to improve. You're at level five. So you just got to keep your eyes on your prize because at the end of the day, when uh, this body that you're in is done on this earthly plane and your lessons here are complete, uh, your soul decides what level you come back to, you know, and you're not coming back with them hand in hand. You may meet them in the next lifetime, but, you know, your journey and your highest purpose and highest good uh, should be chosen by you, not anyone else. You need to take charge of your soul's journey and um, have self-love and help have that knowing of your self-worth and understand that it is okay to lose or to fail once in a while. Because that is how we learn and grow. And that's how you got to level five or wherever you're at now. You know, um, it's called acceptance and endurance and, um, you know, willpower. The, the strive and the need to be better, to be great, to have that pride in yourself. And also, you know, not feel bad for having pride because... Uh, if we weren't proud of our hard work and our accomplishments, what would be the point? You know, we might as well all just get the trophies and have the easy buttons and, you know, why try anything? Why try to be good at a damn thing? So, um, it needs to matter, you know, and we all know that it does on some level. We all know that that matters, but... Like I said, you know, society has us brainwashed and programmed to think that it shouldn't matter so much. And really, it should matter more than anything. Because uh, if you're not vibrating at your highest ability, then you're not really benefiting anyone around you as much as you could. So if you want to be a better person for everybody else, then you first have to be a better person for yourself. You know, you have to want those changes. And that includes uh, removing people from your six degrees that don't um, uplift that change or at least encourage it and cheer it on and support you, you know, um, I think we've really lost touch with what parts are supposed to be the most important and which ones should be left behind, you know? Um, it's a strange thing to for me to know that everything is so backwards, um, so upside down from where it should be. But uh, my mission is to help you figure that out, flip it back up right. Um, and I use this term a lot, truly take the shackles off and be slaves no more. Um, it's time to regain your power, know your worth, have that self-love and move forth in life creating the world that you want around you and that i want around me and that is harmonious to all of us um that just kind of you know weaves together in some beautiful magical way 
and um, <clears throat> you may say, well, who am I to tell you? Um, I'm going to use references from the tarot cards to answer that question. I am the Empress that leads all the Queens to their highest abilities. I am the Emperor that shows all the Kings how to be the greatest they can be. I am Earth Song. In a sense, you could call me a galactic ambassador that's been sent here to Earth to sing Earth's praises and to sing our praises as beautiful beings and remind you of who you are, who we all are, help you wake up help you grab that power back help you remember that we are who we've been waiting for and that you are the hero of your own story you just have to make that choice and give yourself the permission to be that person and we can do it together so I'm gonna close there And I hope that this message resonates with you. I hope that you will uh, like it and share it. And maybe even subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. Everything that I do is for free. Uh, if you would like to give a donation, I have a uh, donation link on my channel and will be below in the video. If you would like to reach me for one-on-one uh, -on -one counseling or just talking about anything or um, tarot channeling your uh, lost loved ones I am a channeler I am uh, clairvoyant clairaudient clairsentient and um, I'm here to serve humanity and wake you up so if I can help you in any way shape or form please do not hesitate to contact me. You can reach me at earthsong747 at gmail.com. And um, we'll leave it there. I hope that you will be well and be blessed. And until we see each other again, goodbye in love and light.